Hello everyone, today we are going to continue with the development of our application which we have created last time. So we have created last time this application here on the right side where we have created these images here, this profile image, this button, this text and so on. And now this time we want to focus on the bottom part where we create these image tiles here and also the navigation bar. And we also want to change the top navigation bar so that it looks like it is here in our design. The first thing what we want to create is this bottom tab bar here. So let's just start with it. We go to our main file where we have the code for our existing application. And under this body property we have another property which is called bottom navigation bar. And here we simply want to add a tab bar. And inside of our tab bar we need only this property tabs for now. And here we want to take the tabs which I have created here in the data structure. So we have here some icons which we want to show. And these icons are the exact same icons we have here in our design. And here we have also a kind of logo where we will take the Flutter logo instead. So I have passed here a null value for this tab because the Flutter logo itself is not an icon. As far as I know, it is only a Flutter logo widget. So we will create it instead and use here for our null value this Flutter logo. And here we go over all of our tabs. So we import here our tabs, which I have shown you before. And we want to go and map all of our icons. So if we have a null value, like this one, the last one, where we want to show our Flutter logo, then we show instead our Flutter logo directly here. And otherwise we just show the icon. The next thing what we need to do is to create here a controller for our tab bar so that we later can manage our tabs. So I added here a tab controller and we also need to initialize it. So we go here to our top and we have here a stateful widget and here I paste this inside. So we have here this tab controller which we initialize. For each tab controller we need to provide a length so that the tab controller knows how many tabs it should control. In this case we say that it should control this kind of list. So it should control all the icons which are later clickable. And we also set here the initial index to the last index in our list. So we go here with tab length minus one. And we also add here listener so every time we change the tab. So if we clicked on a new button here, it should set the state new. So it should rebuild our application. Like you can see here is an error because we need to provide here a ticker provider. So we go here at the top to our state class. And here we have this syntax with with. And here we can say single ticker provider state mixin and the single ticker provider state mixin is responsible for allowing animations here in our tab bar we normally have an animation with the indicator bar which i will show you later so we have here under our button normally an indicator and therefore i think it's needed so we have here this tab controller added to our tab bar and the next thing what we want to do is to create this method so our flutter logo has a color of blue but if it's not selected, we want to have a gray color instead. So that's what we need to add here. And here inside, we add this method, get logo color. And I have also reloaded it. So we get this error currently, which is fine. Here, the first thing what we do is to check if our logo is selected. And it's every time selected if it's the last index of our list. And if it's selected, then we want to show a blue color, which we will pass to our Essen color later. And otherwise, we want to show a gray color. And if we go back, you see we get this error here that we need to provide a material color. And it's true because here in our colors, we need to provide a material color. And what we currently do here, we get only the color of our theme. And it seems like that the predefined color for accent color and unselected widget color is not a material color. So that's what we need to change. We go here to the top and then we add these both fields here. So we add the accent color to blue and also the unselected widget color to gray. And here, if we hot restart our application, we have here the selected widget and we have also other widgets which are not in the right color. So they have a really light color. So we don't see them right now. And that's what we need to change. So we go back to our tab bar and here we have two other properties, label color and unselected label color. And if we add here this unselected label color to our unselected widget color of our theme, which is the equivalent of this color gray here, then we get this icon see in a gray color. And we also can set here the label color, which means if we select this button, then this color will be displayed. So we have here this Essen color and we set it here at the top to blue. So let's hot restart our application. 
And now if we also change here to another index, the color also will change and our Flutter logo itself will also get a gray color. And if we go back, then we have also again the Flutter logo. Let's compare it quickly here with our design. It looks like that our design has a little bit more padding and also no indicator here at the bottom because right now we have here an indicator and that's not the case in this application. So that's what we need to change. So first of all, we go to our tab bar and here we have another property which is called indicator color and we set it to transparent so that it is not shown anymore. So if we hot restart our application, then the indicator color itself is not there anymore. And another thing we want to do is to add a little bit padding. So we will wrap here our tab bar into a container. And here we want to do two things. First of all, we set a padding and now it looks much better. And if you take a close look, we have here also a small gray line above our navigation bar. And that's what we also want to add. Therefore, we have here in our container the property decoration. And here we want to add the box decoration. And here we have another property which is called border. And we can here set the border of our widget. And we want to set the top border so that only this side of our widget gets a border. And here we simply create another border side, set the color to a kind of gray color and the width to one. And after we hot reloaded this application, you see that we have this line here. The next thing what we want to care about before we go to our main challenge here to this list of items, we go to our tab bar and change it quickly to another color. And we also want to send out this text and add here a drawer. So let's begin with our drawer. We go here to our scaffold and here we have a property which is called draw and we simply add here draw with no content for now. So we have here an empty container and now we have here this menu button. Another thing we want to add is this app bar here. So first of all, we want to change that the title is centered. So we have here a center title property, which we simply set to true. And if we hot reload it, you see we have here the center title. And another thing we want to do is to change the color. So we go here to our top application and we want to change the primary color, which affects also the color of our navigation bar here at the top. And if we hot restart our application, then we have here, like you can see, this new color. Unluckily, it also changes here our taste me text, which we have set here. So now we have here black color instead of a white color. So this can normally happen if we change the primary color because the Flutter application then tries to compensate it and set the text colors normally to black. So if we go here again with red, you see we have here white text color in general. And if we change it here to white again, you see that the Flutter application tries to get here the nice look and feeling automatically so we don't have to care about it. Something which is pretty cool but also can have some bugs if we change the color. So we need to be aware of it. So what we will do, we add here to our theme data another property which is called primary text theme. And we simply say that here our primary text theme should be with the color of white in general. And this color we will later pass to our widgets here. So after you reload it, we see the test here changed to this new color. Um, and it's the case because in our taste me function, we already got here the theme of context of our primary text theme. And we said it here that all of our primary text theme like body colors should be in the color of white and therefore this taste me text got also the color of white and the same is with the follow button. Here we also applied a color which is from primary text theme and therefore it also changed here to this color. Now we also need to be aware because we have here two things like a primary text theme and also a text theme which is here which is currently not implemented so we get the default one and we want to take the default one for our app title here. So we go to our app title and here we want to get the default style. So we go here with theme of context, the normal text theme, not the primary text theme because the primary text theme is in the color of white and the normal text theme is in the color of black. And here we want simply to set it to the title and if we hot reloaded our application, you can see we have this title back in the black color. In the next video, we will then care about the rest of the design. So we will create this design here at the bottom and it looks like this. So check this next video also out. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye.